Hey guys, in this Effect House tutorial, I want to show you how you can control an uh, object on the screen with the pitch of your voice. So when you have a higher pitch, the object will be high up on the screen and when you have a lower pitch, it will be down. And I will also show you how you can um, yeah, insert a text like this to show you how high or low the pitch of your voice is. So let's go. Hey again, so let's create a filter where we can use the pitch of our voice to control our object on the screen. The first thing we will do is to set up a scene for this. Um, I will just insert a sphere as a 3D object, which we will control then to change the position here on the screen. For this, we go to the left hand side to our scene, add object, go to 3D and then we insert a sphere. The sphere will be in the middle and that's a perfect place for it. I will just change the scale of it. So um, select the sphere, go to the right hand side, um, activate the chain and then set X for example to 0.5. So now we have set up a simple scene. Now we go to our visual scripting and yeah, program the function to move this with our, with our voice. So the first thing we will do is to create a node. So go to the plus to add node and here search for audio from microphone. Then just insert this. So now we have this node, then we need another node that will detect the pitch of the audio we get from our microphone. So we can just insert a new node by clicking on this little yeah, circle and then just drag it and when we release our mouse then we will get this here and here we search for pitch detection. Then we insert this and then we get this pitch detection node. Now we have two outputs. The audio stream output and the um, pitch value number output. When you click on this little i on the right upper side of the node you will get the information about this pitch detection yeah, node. And it is very important to know which values we get from all the outputs. The audio output needs to get connected to a speaker node and the pitch value is the very important value for us. And this gives us a value range from 45 to 650. And it gives us a value of minus one when there is no pitch detected. So we have to remap those 45 to 650 to the position of our sphere. So the first thing we will do is to create a speaker node because otherwise this will not function. I don't know why, but we need this speaker node. This was something I was yeah, struggling a lot. <laughs> because it wasn't working, because we need this speaker node. So go to add node and search for speaker. Now you can set the volume of this speaker to zero and then connect the audio stream output with the audio stream input of the speaker node. Now we need, as I have already mentioned, remap function to remap this pitch value. So also drag and drop. And here we search for remap map. So now we need an input min and the input max. As we have already seen, the input minimum is 40, 45 and the input max is 650. And we will yeah, map this to an input min and the input max for the y of our sphere. So I will just play around here with the position of my sphere to get a feeling of the numbers. So select the sphere, go to the right hand side to position. Now when I set the Y to 25, it's too much above. So let's set it to 20 and uh, yeah, let's say 50, 15 and the lower range will be minus 15. Then it will just overlay with the record button. So let's say minus 12. So our output minimum will be minus 12 at the remap node and the output max will be 15. So now we need to give those numbers to our position of the sphere. So select the sphere, 
Then go to the position, click on the little circle next to it and then here click on set position. So now we have this node. So now we get an output of a number but we need a vector free input for our set position. So we need a combine node. So add a new node and search for combine. So then set the combine node from vector 2 to vector 3. And yeah, now the number output of the remap node gets connected to the y input and here the vector free output gets connected to the value input. Now we need of course trigger our um, set position node and we will do this continuously. So we will get our update node which is automatically created at the beginning and then the next output gets into the enter input of this set position. The problem with the audio filters is that we can't test them here in Effect House. So we have to go to preview in TikTok and then test this in the TikTok app. So just click here and then scan this QR code. So now we can test this. So when my pitch is high of my voice, it is higher up and when it's low, it is further down. So yeah, now you can play around with the values. And now I will also show you how you can um, yeah, show the values here on the screen if you want to program in, yeah, need them to program some specific features of your filters. So for this, we need to add a new object to our screen. So add object, then search for a 3D text element. Now we see this in the middle of the screen. Now select the 3D text element, go to the right hand side, go to text, to the circle next to it, and then click on set text. Now we have the set text here in our visual scripting panel. And now we can connect the pitch value output with the value input of the set text. Now Effect House will automatically create this data convert node. So it's, yeah, converts the number output to a string output, which can be used at the set text. And now we also need to trigger this. And now we must use the next output of the set position um, for this. And now we can test it again in TikTok. So, and now we can see that minus one is the value when there is no pitch detected. And yeah, the value gets higher, the higher my pitch is in the voice. So this is a higher number. And when it's low, the number will be lower. So now you can play around and get a feeling of it, how those numbers are working and affecting our, yeah, object on the screen. So yeah, this is all the magic about how to control an object with the pitch of your voice in TikTok. If this tutorial was helpful for you, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, it would be nice when you subscribe to it. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.